what's going on today? Um, today I am going to show you my jerseys that I've added to my collection uh, since the last time I did a video on my jerseys. Um, I've added nine new jerseys and five that I had sent out to get names and numbers put on the back. Um, so I'll show you all of those ones uh, as well as the new ones and I believe the collection is up to 128 now. Um, definitely gone a lot slower this year than I did uh, last year. Last year I got a lot of jerseys. Uh, I've still got quite a bit this year, more than probably most people do. Um, but I got some really nice ones in here. I'm super excited to show you guys. So uh, pretty much just get right into it here. Alright, so the first jersey I want to show you is the Fanatics uh, White Flames jersey. Um, I just got this probably two months ago now. Um, almost actually right after the last uh, jersey video that I did and it is super comfortable uh, honestly the Fanatics jerseys um, they are just very very comfortable to wear around the house uh, going out to a bar whatever restaurant um, I can't can't say enough of how comfortable these are uh, if you get the name and number put on them um, they're obviously not quite as comfortable because it's got more material added onto it the numbers are a little bit thicker um, still relatively comfortable. Uh, my LA Fanatics one is uh, comfortable, but like this is just it is one of the most comfortable jerseys I have. I'm super excited to have it and makes a great addition to the collection. Um, next, I've been I saw this jersey here at the Source of Sports store for a better part of a year, and I was just waiting and waiting and waiting for it to go on sale. Um, I never did. I was talking to one of the managers and I was going to buy an LA Kings jersey and because it was on sale I was like man I've been waiting for this jersey to go on sale and he's like well how much do you want it for and I was like is this alright and he said yeah sure so I think he gave me 25% off which uh, he definitely didn't have to do so I was very appreciative of it. Um, the Quebec Nordiques. Um, the blue one so now I got the blue and I have the white so I'm super excited about that. It already had the name and number already on it. Uh, Michel Goulet. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't know a whole lot about him. Except he played for the Nordiques and he had a killer mustache. Uh, other than that, um, very soft jersey. Very nice. It's, uh, again, super comfortable. Uh, it's different material than the most CCM jerseys. Um, it says like it's the... Heroes of Hockey Collection. Um, I've seen a few of these like around Pro Hockey Life. Uh, obviously, Source for Sports had them. Um, I have seen a couple around, um, and every time I find them, they're very, very soft material. Um, again, super comfortable. That's why I wanted this one as well. Uh, but very beautiful. Very happy to have this one as well. All right. So the next three are all from Full Moon Jerseys off of eBay. Um, so they're all relatively good priced. I do have uh, my eye on two to three, no, three to four jerseys uh, on their website or on Full Moon on eBay that I might be getting here. But uh, in the meantime, so are these three that I got, starting with the Stadium Series Chicago jersey, um, just absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And with this jersey, I feel like my Chicago section of jerseys is complete. I pretty much have every jersey I want for Chicago. Um, I, at first, I'm not going to lie, I didn't like it, but it's really grown on me. saw a picture of Panarin in it, and I really started to like it. Um, I'm probably going to get Panarin put on it eventually, but it's just beautiful, and once again, I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. Alright, and uh, my next jersey, also from Full Moons as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at all, uh, I'll leave a link in the description here. But if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture that I really wanted uh, this jersey. And there was two jerseys. I said I wanted both. I was able to get one of them. Um, talking about Hartford Whalers. Uh, the white jersey. As you know, I like the white jerseys usually better. Uh, this is no exception. I absolutely love, love this jersey. Um, it's just super soft material, same like with the Nordiques one, uh, it just doesn't have a name on it. I probably will be getting Ron Francis on here at some point. Um, but this one is 
CCM Team Classics. Again, I've seen a couple of these in stores. Not too often do you see them. Um, as opposed to like just the regular CCM Vintage jerseys. Uh, super, super soft. Absolutely comfortable. Um, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, honestly, is the logo material. Uh, it feels a little bit kind of cheaper, but it's stitched on, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, and I absolutely love that. Uh, same with the shoulder logo. Stitched on, really, really nice quality. Um, but yeah, I do want to get the like the navy uh, Hartford jersey, one that they wore in the 90s right before they left. Um, until then, uh, very, very excited to have this one as well. Alright, uh, up next is a jersey that I was trying to find the black version of, that I actually like the black version better than the white, but I did find the white, um, so I got it because I really liked it as well. And I was just about to buy a St. Louis Blues jersey off Full Moons, and then I saw this, and I picked it up immediately without any hesitation. Uh, 2007 to 2010 Philadelphia Flyers. Um, I really, really wanted the black one. I've yet to find it. Uh, it is a size medium. I normally always try to go for the small. Uh, but I can pull off a medium. Anything other than that, I have seen the black ones in large and extra large. Um, I try, I think I only have one jersey in my whole collection that is an extra large. I don't have any larges or any other extra larges. I usually try to stay within small. I can stretch it to a medium, uh, and I made that exception for here. Very happy I did. This jersey is just absolutely beautiful. Um, I really like the Flyers with black. I really hope they bring back a black uh, third jersey next year. I think they it just suits them. Um, probably be going to get uh, Simone Gagné put on the back. It's number 12. Get the A put on it. Um, but until then, uh, it will probably be going on the wall here behind me pretty soon. All right, um, so I have shown this video or this jersey in a previous video before. Um, if anyone's noticed it, maybe they would be like, "Hey, that wasn't in his last video," um, but I used it for my playoff uh, predictions, which are not going well, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, my newest Adidas one is so the New Jersey Devils. Um, I absolutely love this jersey. I like uh, the white one. I like the red one. I like them a lot better than their one that they had uh, previous for the last, what, 93 years, uh, however long they've been around. Um, it's absolutely just, just awesome. Uh, the green and the collar uh, stays off the jersey so you don't actually see it, but it's a nice touch. The Stanley Cup dates up on the top. Nice little shiny logo. Uh, I, I don't know. I just I love this jersey so much. I do plan on getting the white one at some point. Uh, I do want to get either John Moore or maybe Michael Grabner if he sticks around. Or maybe if he doesn't, get Nico Heischer put on one of them. Get John Moore on the other. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this jersey. It's, it's one of my favorite jerseys I got going right now. Alright, uh, so I do have three other brand new jerseys to add to my collection that I'll show you guys in a minute, but I'm going to start doing with the jerseys that I had previous, uh, but I had sent out to get names and numbers put on them. Um, so I'm going to start with showing you this one right here. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers. I had this jersey in my collection before. If you watched the other video, you would have seen it. And I got Shane Gostas Bear put on the back. The Ghost Bear. Um, he's quickly becoming one of my favorite defensemen. And I really wish he didn't play for Philadelphia, and I really wish he didn't wear number 53. I hate that number, but I like him a lot as a player, and I'm very happy to have this jersey. I just had this sent out with uh, our sport check here um, in Calgary. Uh, they send it out to Great Plains Cresting here in Calgary as well. So it's usually a fairly quick turnaround. Um, they usually always do a good job. And yeah, very, very happy. Alright, up next, uh, former Flame, one of my favorites, uh, Swiss guy, um, but plays for Vancouver right now, um, Sven Barchi. I really wish he didn't play for Vancouver, um, but he does, so I really wanted his jersey. Um, I do have to get now a Jokinen uh, Vancouver jersey, which I'm not excited about, but I will, and very happy to have this. I didn't. 
I really wanted to get this one done just because I didn't want to have a blank Canucks jersey. I wanted to get a Barchi jersey. That's really the only reason I bought the Vancouver jersey. I mean, apart from wanting a jersey from every team. Um, he was the whole uh, reason that I wanted this particular jersey was to get uh, Barchi put on it. Um, again, they did a really good job. Um, super excited. And I'd be proud to wear this. It's a nice looking jersey. Even though I'm not a big Canucks guy. Um, the last one that I'm going to show you for right now uh, is my cousin, second cousin, I'm pretty sure it's second cousin, um, used to play for the Winnipeg Jets. I had to get his jersey, um, got Tanner Glass. Nice guy, good guy, I met him a couple times, I'm not going to lie, I don't know him you know, that well, that personally. Uh, seen him around a couple family functions um, and stuff. But uh, I definitely want to try to get my uncle to get him to sign this for me if I can. Um, I don't know the next time I'll see him. Uh, but yeah, I needed to get his jersey. I do want to get the patch put on it uh, with the inaugural Winnipeg season because that was the year that he would have played there. Um, but until then, very happy to have this one as well. Uh, again, they did a really good job. The numbers, everything, just really, really nice. And very excited to have this one. Alright, so I'm switching back to the uh, new jerseys added to my collection. I will go back at the end to show you the last two that I had sent out uh, for names and numbers. Um, but right now I'll show you the next one I got. Uh, my friend, he was over in Denmark for the World Championship. Uh, seemed I was a little jealous I didn't get a go, but hopefully eventually. Um, he did pick up one of my favorite jerseys, probably in my top 10 favorite of all time. Um, Norway. I absolutely love this jersey. I think it's just just the perfect hockey jersey. It's it's just perfect. I I love it so much. Um, never thought I'd get it to be honest, but I'm very very happy to have this in my collection. Um, material's nice. It feels pretty heavy duty. Um, it's got the little polar bear on here and everything. Let's show you that. Uh, on the back, it's got the little polar bear again. Very Norwegian. Not a hundred percent sure of who I'm gonna get this uh, name put on this eventually, but I'm not sure who. Um, but yeah, this is honestly one of my favorite jersey designs of all time. Um, anytime that's got the name going down vertically or horizontally or Diagonal, that's the one I think. Diagonally, uh, it's automatically one of my favorites. I absolutely love that design. Rangers, uh, Pittsburgh, this is the St. Petersburg one from the KHL. Uh, this one, um, our, my, me and my friend's hockey team, our jerseys had our name going down like that. I just, I just love it. Um, I'm not sure why, but I do. So this one, absolutely love. Thank you very much, Brandon. All right, speaking of Brandon, uh, he got this jersey like probably two weeks or maybe three weeks before I did, and I found it online. And I think it's his favorite jersey of all time. Um, it's right up there for me. I absolutely love it. Um, it's one of the Centennial Classic or Centennial Year Montreal Canadiens with the CA. Uh, this the design from the 1915-16 season that they had. Um, so prior to the NHL, um, this is probably one of my favorite jerseys that they've ever had. I honestly, I wish they've had this full time. Um, ditch the CH and go back to the CA. I would be quite okay with that. Um, just a beautiful jersey. I didn't think I'd ever find uh, one of these jerseys. I'm very, very happy that I did. I, I. It's just perfect. It's it's awesome. Um, it's got the 1909 to 2009 on the shoulder here. It's still in really good condition. I did get it off eBay. Um, actually, oddly enough, the guy is selling it in Calgary. And then it shipped me within like two days because it was within the city. Um, I do want to find the 1909 Montreal Canadiens one. Uh, it's the, I just call it the Blue Sea jersey. Um, if I can find that one, uh, my Montreal collection will be complete. 
um, but this is one of the jerseys that I really regretted not buying in 2009-10 when they were available and I'm very very excited that I found it. Alright and for the final uh, number nine, the ninth jersey that I have added to my collection uh, is one of my childhood favorites that I've been looking for for probably close to 15 to 20 years maybe. Um, the Penguins, the Robo Penguin. Uh, it's honestly just, it's, it's again one of my all-time favorite jerseys. I'm super excited to get it. I got it for a fairly decent price. I've seen these upwards to 1300 if they're like uh, named and signed. Um, I was able to get this one for 200 That's the cheapest I found it. So I picked it up. <clears throat> I picked it up immediately. Uh, also to go along with it, I bought the NHL 2000 patch. Uh, so I'll get that put on. And I'm going to get Marty Strack to put on the back of it. Um, there's hair on it. Probably going to get that done um, relatively net soon. A couple months here, I'll probably send this one out to get done. Um, I'm going to send it out to Winnipeg for Keener jerseys to do. Uh, it's, I just, I think it's one of the best looking jerseys around and I'm super excited to get it done. Um, honestly, if I can find another another one for a decent price as well, I'll probably buy it as well. Uh, this is, I just, I don't even have any words. This is just awesome. Um, so those are the nine new jerseys that I've shown you uh, to go into my collection. But I have two, new, two other jerseys to show you here that I had sent out um, to Winnipeg to Keener jerseys that I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so if you've watched any of my uh, playoff videos with the Vegas things um, and noticed I didn't have the jersey, it's because it was sent out getting a name put on it and I also sent out my Columbus jersey as well to get UC Oakland put on it. Um, it was hard trying to find a place that was able to do the correct... Uh, um, what, am, what am I looking for here? Like the correct uh, font and, and material they used for the Adidas jerseys and Keener Jerseys in Winnipeg said that they could do it. Uh, so I trusted them, sent it out, and I think they came back pretty friggin' good. Um, I'll show up some close, uh, some close pictures here as well. Um, but just the details, the stitching, uh, everything about it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is obviously the UC Okanen one. Um, honestly, I'm very, very happy with the work that they did. Uh, the only downside I had with them is it felt like it took forever to get them back. Um, I'm just impatient though. I know I knew it was going to take a while, especially going you know two provinces over. Uh, but all in all, I'm super happy with the work that they've done, and I'll be definitely getting more. Um, but here's the UC Oakland one, and I'll show you the Vegas one. All right. Uh, so obviously I got William Carlson put on there. Um, I wanted to do Vadim Shapachov back in September. Uh, if he would have played more than three games, I might have still got him. But the season Carlson had, I had to get him. Um, I definitely jumped on the Carlson bandwagon this year. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with it. Um, the work that they did, the numbers, the, the color, the detail, everything about it. The stitching, they did just perfectly. Um, again, I'll show up some close pictures here. Uh, just just perfect and I'm super excited to eventually try to get the white one and I'll send that one to them as well and get Belmar put on it um, but yeah this it's I'm very very happy with the work that they had done um, so if you want I would highly recommend checking out their Instagram or their websites uh, I'll put a link in the description as well um, check them out highly highly recommend they did a fantastic job Alright guys, so that was a video of my new jerseys, so I'm up, like I said, I'm up to 128 jerseys now. Um, I have my eye on three or four uh, for the, you know, not too distant future. Uh, I'll probably send out maybe another two or three in the next couple months here to get names and numbers put on them as well. Um, but I just wanted to show you my, my latest jersey uh, haul, uh, jersey Christmas as, uh, as Shannon calls it from the hockey guy. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. I'll definitely get back to you. 
Uh, anything else you wanted to see, let me know. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, if you want to hit like, subscribe maybe, i definitely appreciate it. Um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, you guys can always do that, i appreciate that as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot else to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again.